what's going on what's going on everyone who's actually listening to this podcast right now first of all guys welcome to the nikhil sai show which is hosted by me the nikhil sai and guess what's going on today we are back with another amazing true comma club interview so guys this is going to be a crazy podcast in case if you're somebody like who likes affiliate marketing who wants to build a lifestyle business where you can actually travel have your own time have your own rules for your life it's going to be a crazy crazy journey so the guest who's actually joining us today right he actually have helped thousands of people get started in affiliate marketing by saying goodbye to the nine to five and basically he joined a job and within nine months he also left that so basically it's a passion for him to show people how to get their freedom and time back right and i mean i'm personally into his community and i've seen hundreds of people posting screenshots of thousands of dollars of commission just like that every day all days so i was like wow this is pretty crazy this is insane right and especially like not spending hundreds of thousands of on advertising it's just like using organic traffic simple as that right like growing social media and leveraging social media and organic traffic basically is main methodology so guy who's actually joining on this podcast today will show you how you can unlock the real potential of freedom by actually perceiving affiliate marketing and start your own affiliate marketing journey so that potentially if you choose to you can quit your 95 and be a full time affiliate marketer so guys this guy has scaled his own affiliate marketing journey to the next level he has done millions of dollars in affiliate commission and is going to reveal the exact secrets and step by steps and his journey on how he has done it so let's not waste any time and actually let's welcome jonathan on this podcast founder at passive income lifestyles Hey Jonathan. Hey, hey, what's up Nikhil? Thank you so much for having me on, brother. Super excited uh for this podcast. <laughs> Absolutely, Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining us today, brother. So yeah, we are pretty excited once again. Thank you so much for joining on time. You're traveling. Uh, we kind of rescheduled yeah. a bunch of time, but finally we are here. I'm pretty excited for this. So yeah, Jonathan, I have given a pretty overview, but I would really love to dig deep and have a like overview of your backstory. Like how did you get started? Where did you come from? How did you get into affiliate marketing? Yeah man, thank you. So basically, man, uh I'm going to start back when I was in elementary school. I kind of always had this entrepreneurial like itch, mm-hmm. right? So I always I always liked selling stuff. I always got this like high from selling things. So uh when I was in 3rd grade, I was the guy selling gum, you know? Like I would I would buy a bunch of bunch of gum from Costco or Sam's Club and then mm-hmm. I would bring it in, in my little cubby and people would come to me. I'd sell them gum, you know, I'd I'd sell, I think, 25 cents or whatever. And I, I and I kept doing this all through elementary school. Um, you know, I sold CDs and I sold, you know, candy bars. Middle school, I was selling, uh, I want to say, DVDs. <laughs> so, man, every, every out through all my whole school, like, I was always selling something. In high school, we did, uh, I had, like, this taffy business and all this stuff. So, I always had this entrepreneurial uh, itch, okay? But then after, um, like, high school, you know, I got into college and, um I kind of forgot about that, right? I was so focused on college, you know, I was actually mm-hmm. going to be an electrical engineer that I just forgot about that, right? So I was like, you know, I was focusing on school. Uh basically, you know, I went through the whole uh I got my bachelor's in electrical engineering, I got a, my degree. Um after that, I got a job in, in electrical engineering, which was awesome. You know, I was happy I got that job. Um you know, after after a few years in working that job, I was like man, I, I don't, I don't like this job. Like it, I don't like a job at all. So like I started, I started looking into other, um, side hustles. You know, I, I looked into eBay drop shipping. I started some MLMs. Um, we did Amazon FBA. Uh, my wife helped me create a e-commerce store. Like we, we literally tried almost every side hustle that you can think of. Um, mm-hmm. now this was while I was working my nine to five job as an engineer. At this point, I was sick and tired of that job. And I was like, okay, I got to get out of this job. You know, I, this is not something that I want to do for the rest of my life. Okay. So I was, I was looking for other things. Now, unfortunately I failed at a lot of things. And, um, and that was when I kind of found affiliate marketing. Um, now this was like four or five years and failing in different business models, but I found affiliate marketing in May of 2019. That's kind of when I started that journey. Um, since then, um, I, I knew that this was the business model for me. So I went all in with that business model. Um, I learned the right way. I, I was building up my, my business and brand and basically long story short, I, I started in May of 2019 and I quit my job in March of 2020, right, right before the pandemic, which was kind of crazy. Um, uh, I quit mm-hmm. my job, I think two weeks right before, uh, everything was shut down, but, uh, yeah, man, that's kind of a little bit about my story. 
Wow, that's pretty interesting. I mean, it's really tough to see people who kind of have that itch of being an entrepreneur from very young age, but it can really prove the drive you actually have from a very young age. Yeah. So we really encourage people who kind of see themselves that, okay, I have some entrepreneurial spirit. They really need to try that thing because so many people just feel stuck that, okay, I'm just here. They just don't pull the trigger on, you know, taking right. some action on what they really want to do, right? So, yeah, that's pretty interesting, brother. Thank you so much for sharing a quick Absolutely. backstory. Let's get to the next question, right? So here's the thing. Affiliate marketing, especially after pandemic, like everybody is an affiliate marketing person. <laughs> everybody started to jump yeah. into affiliate marketing, right? So what did you do different, like, which actually, like, like, where did you, like, really crack the code of affiliate marketing? Where, did, where was that, like, aha moment? Like, okay, this is how it works. Yeah, so... The biggest thing for me was um, I was able to stack multiple products on each other. Now, I did it in a way that wasn't what, – what do you call it? There's a lot of affiliates that will just promote a bunch of random products. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be that guy. I wanted to be the guy that was going to help people get a result. Okay, So um, I call it the affiliate stacking ecosystem. This is kind of my own framework. But basically, mm -hmm. the way it works is um, – you know, we have one core result for my target audience, right? So I'm going to give you a good example here. So um, let's just give you, let's just say someone's going, they, they, they buy a brand new house, right? And mm -hmm. um, they need a bunch of, they, they need a bunch of things for that house. They need a TV, they need furniture, they need, uh, you know, apparel, or I'm sorry, uh, you know, pictures, all this stuff for their brand new house, right? These are multiple things that they need. So, you know, as the affiliate, I'm going to be providing that, uh, you know, that solution for that customer, right? Oh, here's an affiliate link for this TV. Here's an affiliate link, you know, mm. uh, for this furniture. Here's, here's affiliate link for, for this and that, right. For your bathroom, whatever it is. Right. So that's just an example, um, that kind of makes sense. All right. For me, uh, I, obviously I teach people how to leave their nine to five job with affiliate marketing. So I do teach affiliate marketing. So with that, right, the core result is helping someone leave their nine to five job. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to re recommend the tools that they need to do that. Right. Maybe they need this software. Maybe they need uh, this tool. Maybe they need uh, this course. Right. So I stack multiple products on each other. Not only it helps me make more money, but it helps the customer get to their main result. Right. So that's, that's the game changer for me. And that's what's helped a lot of my students out in, in any niche, right. Even with health and fitness, right. Cause you can, you know, their, their main core result is losing weight. Maybe you have um, a, a course on how to lose weight. Then you have supplements. Then you have, um, you know, meal prep services. But you as the mm. affiliate, you know, are going to make commissions on all those. So that that was the game changer for me is, is building that affiliate stacking ecosystem. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was really enlightening, basically, because so many affiliate marketers, right, they just look at that one product, like, hey, I'm going to yeah. sell this one course, I'm going to go all in, great, you're going all in, but without a continuity, you cannot scale, you cannot make so much more commission, I believe everybody would agree, like, it's, it's going to cost you so much less to sell the existing customer than trying to convince a brand new one, right, so when you yeah. stack everything they might need in the journey, you're going to be making much more, triple, quadruple your income, basically, by just offering something else they might need in the future, right? I think that's a beautiful right. strategy. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and the thing is, is like, I didn't want to come off as that affiliate that just promoted r products that really didn't help. Everything, anyone. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, you know, there's a lot of people that'll teach, hey, just go find random products on ClickBank and promote it, right? So I wanted to be, I wanted to actually provide value for the people I was, I was helping, right? I, I had the main core result for them. And, mm. you know, I figured, okay, how can I get them to that path? And that was like, okay, I had to give them products and services that I believed in. So that, that was the game changer for me, I think, as well as like thinking of the customer's end goal instead of like, just how can I make extra money? So that was, that yeah. was you're just trying to help yourself and you're just showing the pathway that how you made it so it becomes a easy process for them that's really beautiful Absolutely. so yeah jonathan let's get to the next question right i mean yeah. in affiliate marketing you know you would agree like this is the most key part of course you need like some funnels and processes and systems in place but really coming down to the boiling point like how do you bring traffic and leads and what actual process you follow to nurture them continuously because it's not just about getting that lead it's really about like how you maintain the relationship with that lead as well so can you walk me through like your strategies of generating traffic? Yeah, no, that's a, that's such a good question. And, and you're right. Like not all traffic is the same, right? Like the traffic that we bring in is 
is very, very strategic. So the way I do it now is, uh, and this is kind of the way we've always done it is we'll, we'll do some short form traffic. So like Instagram reels, TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why is because right now it's just, it's really easy to, to start getting people to your links very quickly. Now, the only problem with short form traffic is, you know, they're only seeing a few seconds, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds of your business and brand. So typically that's not going to be a best, the best lead. So what I like to do is I like to bring those leads um, mm -hmm. into my YouTube ecosystem. Okay. So now they could start uh, watching my YouTube channel where I give them 20, 30, 40 minute trainings for free, obviously. Right. And they're going through that, but now they're learning my story. They're, they're getting some value. They're understanding like uh, the, the, the results I'm getting my students, right? So uh, think of it like this, right? So it's almost like a traffic funnel, right? We, we, we use Instagram short or Instagram reels, TikTok, and I try to get them to my YouTube channel from there. Then I get them into my funnels where I, where I uh, then uh, build my email list. And the email list is the biggest goal for me. Like if I can build that list, I can have a thriving business for the rest of my life. So we go from short form video to long form video, email list and then of course uh then to our main core offer so that's typically how we bring leads in and most mm -hmm. of the time it's 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 mostly organic now if we do paid ads i'll kind of do the same structure we'll go from like a paid ad to uh to some of my free long form content typically because for me mm -hmm. I, i'm always in it for the long term so you know I, i'm not just gonna go hey go go to my link and buy i'm like hey go go watch this free video uh, on youtube right so my goal is like maybe i won't get the sale right away but i'm gonna build that long-term business and brand and that person's gonna follow me for a long long time so that's kind of how i nurture my leads yeah yeah i genuinely believe that i mean one of the huge mistakes like i believe newbie affiliate marketer do is they just want to do like that direct response marketing like buy now or yeah. just get out right they just want to do that one time thing every time but you're trying to build like an ecosystem like a attention Absolutely. ecosystem on your business so that you can have this compounding effect of people trusting you because as as it says like people don't just trust you by seeing your name for the first time they just need some time to trust you and some value to see a valid reason for you right know, to, for them to like re buy purchase the products you're recommending right because affiliate marketing is all about you referring something else and when they don't trust you genuinely they won't use your products or services yeah. you're recommending absolutely. at all right <laughs> yeah, yeah no really absolutely i mean it, it's all about building that trust right um and it, it's it's sending them to content where you're telling your story and, and mm -hmm. resonating with with your audience uh, one thing i did leave out actually was um we actually get them once they're in our email list, we'll invite them to our Facebook group as well, mm -hmm. because then I could build that relationship even more, um, you know, in, in a different way than maybe YouTube or, or TikTok. a Facebook group. Yeah. You can really kind of really community. Really see, yeah, it's a community. Right. So they could see your students results, your own results. And it's just a different feel. Right. So I, I try you're, to get you're them building involved. your own omni channel exactly that's that's exactly what it is so yeah man that's that's kind of the process and it's it's worked amazing really so, awesome. yeah. yeah yeah i mean this is a long-term game so any affiliate marketer who's just shorting like you know planning for the quarter plan for three years from now that's how you can build the ecosystem which you can see in, in jonathan's business because it's not easy it's not you know yeah. it, 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 it's not something which could be done in a week or once time but it is definitely worth it if you really perceive it because you're going to be on youtube facebook instagram reels tiktok everywhere imagine that situation how much compounding it's going to give you let's get to the next question brother yeah. and this is going to be a little emotional we just want to like uncover this thing like what life lessons did you learn after like you went through like tough times in your life especially like you after becoming an engineer into a job transitioning to affiliate marketing i don't think it's a one-way go like you started affiliate marketing it's a boom i don't think that's a you know that's a realistic situation so how, what did you learn basically in your tough times yeah well okay so i'm gonna actually go back to when i started affiliate marketing so actually so as I mentioned, I was doing all these side hustles. Um, mm -hmm. One of the last ones I did was, uh, it was like Forex trading. And at the mm -hmm. time, I, I just didn't have my mindset right. So I was was basically putting a ton of cash that I really didn't have in, into these trading uh, these trading things. And and basically, long story short, I, I ended up losing a ton of money. Uh, I was negative mm -hmm. like $1,200 in the bank. And, um, and this was in May of 2019. So this is right before that. And mm -hmm. right there, and I was like, you know what? I need to really figure out, like, I, I need to stop 
doing things for the short term, right? At, at, at this time, I kept just trying to get rich, right? I was just trying to get out of my job as fast as possible instead of building a long-term business. So that's mm. when I really shifted my mindset. And I was like, okay, from, from here on out, whatever I do, I'm going to do this for the long term and stop trying to get rich very quickly. Uh, because I think, you know, a lot of entre- entrepreneurs have been there, right? It's like, they're trying to get rich quick, quickly, especially with crypto and, and all these things, right? Because, you know, you see all these people making a ton of money, uh, but it's not, it's not really realistic, you know? So like, you have to, you have to look at it as a long term. So that was one of the biggest lessons I learned was looking mm-hmm. at your business in a long term way and, and focus on like the next five, 10 years, right? Instead of figuring out, okay, how can I make thousand dollars this week? And that's it, right? How can you build this business? That's going to last you a very, very long time. Uh, and I learned that the hard way, but I, I'm happy I learned that, right? Because now, you know, I think my business now has has really grown and we've been able to, to you know, obviously I was able to quit my job and build a seven-figure business, but it's because of that life lesson I learned right before I started my affiliate business. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a really deep lesson. Like people need to realize, like when you start looking at things in a longer term perspective, everything changes. Your opinion on things completely change, yeah. right? The way you want to perceive things completely changes. The way you sound completely changes. Your story, your message, your offer, everything yeah. changes basically. And I think that's really powerful because that's when your authenticity really like be like you be you be yourself. That's when yeah. you can be yourself because you can't play under a dark shade for years and years and years. that's not realistic that's never happened right so yeah love that thank you so much for sharing that let's get to the next question yeah, brother absolutely. yep so what programs like do you suggest for someone who wants to get into affiliate marketing right now um i mean it depends right so you know you got your low ticket programs uh you know i i'm gonna give you a plug here right so uh, there's my program which is the three-day challenge um basically mm-hmm. teaching someone how to build an affiliate business in three days. I give people all the um, the resources to get started with it, the websites, the funnels that I use. Um, you know, the three-day challenge is, is a good one. Uh, Legendary Marketer is one that I also went through. It's, it's like a 15-day type challenge. And these are all low-ticket challenges, you know, $7. Um, mm-hmm. and these are all great, you know, great places to start, right? If you're brand new, you're just getting started, it's going to give you the foundationals, right? Like, how does it all work, right? Like this is step by step. How do we get started? Uh, the nice thing about affiliate marketing is you really don't need much to get started, right? You just need basically a product, right? A proven product, and then and then customers to that product. That's it, right? So you know you can learn these in these basic programs. Um, those are the two that I would say is a good start to get started with. Um, and um, yeah, man yep thank you so much so guys whoever wants to like get your hands like into affiliate marketing you can pretty much check out jonathan and you can easily find the links and i will be also dropping them in the conversations you know in the description below so you can check that out so yep i would like to get to the next question jonathan like what was the turning point in terms of business like where did you really see like okay you're into affiliate marketing you're making this much a little money a little money here and there and once you started like see the skyrocket growth and what key components have like resulted you know that kind of effect overall yeah, I love that question, man. Cause um, you know, with affiliate marketing, you you can only get so far, right? So because you're promoting someone else's product. Now, hmm. the, the game changer for me was um learning how to build like business SOPs, infrastructures, um, and 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 building out my team actually. That was huge because for a long for the longest time I was just a one man show, which was, you hmm. know, it was okay because I was working a job. I was, um, you know, with affiliate marketing, I was promoting someone else's products. So, mm-hmm. you know, I really didn't need a team. Um, but it was the turning point for me was building out the team because, you know, I was, I was posting videos and I was managing my Facebook group and I was posting content on Instagram, TikTok. you know, after a certain time, like I have to focus my time on the thing that's going to make me the most money, the income producing activities, instead of doing the things that, um, you know, I can have someone else do and they're even better at. Right. So I had to, I had to figure out how to start hiring out people, um, that were better than me at, at that job. Right. So like a, a YouTube manager, um, a, a YouTube editor, um, a support team, uh, even like, a I have like a closer, a DM closer. Like I have all these people that can actually help me build my business and I could focus 
on the things that make me more money. So that was mm. the game changer for me and how we got from six, how we went from six figures to seven figures. I don't think I could have got to seven figures by myself because you know, there's people that are better than me at, at doing th these other jobs, right? Me as an entrepreneur, I'm the visionary. I'm the one that, you know, I'm the one that gets the team to, to see the vision, right? To the next step, right? So that was the game changer for me was building that team out. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see. I mean, I think this is this is a breakthrough for most of the affiliate marketers. They just get on the pedestal of them doing everything and they just yeah. can't surpass that just because they're doing everything themselves. And when you realize that, okay, I can delegate the repeated piece of work to somebody who is much better than me in that yeah. area, you can get so much time back, which you can, of course, invest in the right places to get the best outcomes love that jonathan appreciate you mentioning that Absolutely. that was a really big game changer that was a jump for a lot of affiliate marketers let's get to the next question what type of tools you use to manage your projects for your productivity basically um like the tools i use in the business or productivity or yep yep like basically like all the tools and softwares you use to run your operations and business overall yeah i mean it's pretty simple i mean we use um you know, if we use a funnel builder called ClickFunnels, uh, you know, that's obviously how we how, how we got the two comma award there. Um, so we use mm -hmm. that. Uh, we have all our uh, memberships in there, our funnels, our sales, automated funnels, webinars. So we use ClickFunnels. Uh, as far as uh, email autoresponder, we use GetResponse. Um, that's just the one I've always used. It's the one I recommend to, to my students as well. Um, it's mm -hmm. affiliate friendly. Um, as far as uh, project management, we use Asana. So that's like when I started building out my team, um, we use Asana to, you know, delegate certain projects certain tasks. Um, this is something that it really helps organize, um, you know, basically your team out because it's like, hey, you need to do this. And then it keeps people accountable, right? The whole team can see what people are doing. And um, this is a, it was a game changer tool for us because now we could use that and be more efficient, right? I'm not, I don't always have to be, you know, messaging my team. Hey, we need to do this. We need to do this. Now we could just put it in that, um, in that project management, uh, software and everyone knows what to do. So as far as, uh, other tools, I'm trying to think here. Uh, so we use TubeBuddy uh, for our YouTube channel. This is basically how we, you know, how we get our videos ranked, uh, very high. Mm -hmm. um other than that man we we don't use too much we're we're pretty light on on the software i mean there might be some other softwares we use but you know those are the main tools that we'll use um there's actually one more it's called first promoter um that's what i use for my affiliates that um you know obviously i have my program now so they use mm -hmm. that to i use that to track sales and stuff like that so yeah those are the main softwares that we use we don't use a ton we're pretty simple uh, but it gets the job done yeah 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 i mean you don't need a lot of software because it's just it's just gonna create more operational hiccups i believe right yeah, and absolutely. you just need to use where it is mandatory love that thank you so much for giving us your tech stack let's get to the next question uh, bro like you actually <laughs> run your business travel have fun and still <laughs> maintain your body very well like how does your daily routine looks like for your success what do you do on it yeah basis? i appreciate that man yeah the you know the biggest thing for me is uh I mean, health is one of the biggest things for sure. Right. But as far as my daily routine, like I'll get up and I just had, I just had two kids, you know, I have a two-year-old and I have a one-year-old. So it's crazy. Right. They're they're Once they're up, it's kind of hard to work. So what I do is <laughs> I actually get, I get up at, uh, I get up at around four, 4 30 AM. Um, and I really focus on the income producing activities. Right. So now obviously I have a team that can do, you know, a lot of these tasks, but I'm focusing on, um, you know, creating content. That's the thing that is driving the needle forward. So creating YouTube videos, creating TikToks, um, writing emails, right? These are the things that are income producing mm. activities. Um, you know, new offers. If we have new offers coming out, we'll be focused on that. Um, so usually from 4.30 a.m. when I wake up uh, to around, around 10 a.m. That's, that's, my, that's my time. Usually the kids are asleep. Um, the family's asleep, you know, they're, they're kind of doing their thing, you know, and I can get a ton of work done in that time. If I'm focused, usually, usually I can be very focused during that time. Um, hmm. not typically when family wakes up around 10 AM or, you know, whatever, we could have breakfast together, hang out for a bit. Um, and then usually around noon, I'll go to the gym, right? One, two hours. Um, 
typically I'm pretty good with that, man. Like I will go five, six days a week because for me, it's not only something that's going to help with stress, but you know, if I, if I have a good workout, like I actually get more energy. Um, and that's mm. the, like, if I don't get a good workout, like if there's days I'm missing, I start noticing that my energy is going lower. So, um, people will say I have a ton of energy, even though I get a lot, you know, maybe six hours of sleep. And that's because I think because of, of my gym routine. So typically, uh, around then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get back home around two, have some lunch with the family. Um, now, most of the time I will come back and depending on the day, I might call it a day or if it's like a really busy season, uh, you know, I'll continue working from about two to around five or six. OK, um, if not, I will just take the day off, hang out with the kids and then evening time, 6 p.m. That's total. That's completely family time. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my routine, man. But my main work is done at 4 a.m., like pretty much 4 to 10 a.m. So, yeah. Yeah, you really need to find that sweet spot where you're like most active and you have nobody else to disturb or talk to. That's when you can get the most work. And I believe collaboration is good for like getting like things done, but I don't think it's for creativity. Like creativity comes when you're all alone, right? I yeah. believe you can get the most work done when you're all alone. That's that's definitely a beautiful routine, brother. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's get to the next part. Uh, like, Let's say hypothetically somebody is just getting started or a 20 year old, you need to give him a good advice. What would that suggestion look like? Uh, start with affiliate marketing or entrepreneurship in general. Mm, that's awesome, brother. Let's get to the next question. Your, I'm sorry. your biggest no, achievement I'm, so far. No, sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to answer that question correctly. Um, for mm -hmm. that question, are you talking about um, like to get started with affiliate marketing or entrepreneurship? Like, like if you, if you find, let's say you are talking to a 19, 20 year old Jonathan, what would be like your number one suggestion? Like, Hey, Jonathan, do this. You'll be successful. What would that suggestion look like really? Yeah. So, I mean, if we're just talking about entrepreneurship in general, like I would say, Hey, quit, quit going to college and, and build and build high income skills. That's going to be the thing that's going to, that's going to be the game changer for you. So Building a high ticket skill is, is everything, right? Even in the job force, right? Like people don't hire you based on your degree. Like honestly, a degree is not really valuable anymore unless you're a doctor. No or longer. Engineer. Yeah. Um, like people are going to hire you because of the skills that you provide, right? The people that I hired on my team, I hired them because of a certain skill that they had. Um, now there are certain skills that are going to pay a lot more, right? So things like copywriting, content creation, uh, email marketing, right? These are skills that are very high, highly paid skills, right? Sales, obviously, closers, closers. So start looking at those high ticket skills and how can you learn those, right? Not only for, for your own business, but even if you're, you know, 18, 19 years old and you don't, maybe don't have the funds to start a business, learn mm -hmm. these high ticket skills, find somebody that needs those high ticket skills, work for them, make a ton of money, then you could start your business, right? If I were to do it all over again and I was 18, 19 years old, that's what I would do. I would learn these high ticket skills, um, you know, maybe work for somebody until I was able to uh, make enough money to then start my own business, right? That's what I would focus on is just focus on high ticket skills. And that's the game changer right there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is completely true, Jonathan. I think, you know, everybody needs to realize that they're getting paid on their skill set you know even they're running a business even they're in a job it's really about what skills they actually provide to the marketplace because yeah. market is where you make money so when it's a job a business is making money off your skills and they're paying you even if it's your own business your skills you need to utilize them in your own business and make money right so yeah, really skill set yeah. is the is the overall point let's get to the next question your yeah. life's biggest achievement so far and any next bigger goals oh that's a good question um life's biggest achievements hmm you know what? Um, for me, it was it was actually hitting the two comma man. Like that was that was something. Like when I started my entrepreneurship journey, I was like, "There's no way I could hit that." Like, <laughs> it, just, it just seemed like like just something I could never do, right? So, it it was it was a game changer for me um, because I feel like when I started this journey, I. I I, my confidence wasn't there. Just obviously I had failed at a lot of businesses. So, you know, I knew I was going to do it for the long term, but I was like, you know what? I'm just, I just got to make enough to quit my job. Right. I never thought I could build a seven figure business. 
so yeah, man, that's been a game changer for me. I think that was one of the biggest things I've ever accomplished and mm-hmm. it's been a blessing for sure. Uh, as far as the next goal is, is getting to the eight figure mark, you know, not only you know, income wise, right. But if I'm able to get to that mark, I know we could help a lot more people. Cause you know, at the end of the day, my main goal is to help people achieve financial and time freedom, just like me, right. That there's a lot of people that are stuck at their nine to five jobs and my main goal is to help them get out of their jobs as well. Now we've helped hundreds of people already get out of their jobs, but I know if we, if we build an eight figure business, that's just going to be so much more people that we impact. Right. So yes, I want to get to that eight figure mark, but at the end of the day, the goal is to help people get out of the, out of their jobs as well. Right. So yeah, man, that would be the biggest thing is um, not only get to the two comma X, but you know, there's a, there's a certain number that I've been thinking about since pretty much I started is helping 10,000 people leave their nine to five jobs. So, wow. um, yeah, man, it's, it's, a lot. it's a big number. <laughs> it's a big number. So, you know, it's, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen. I don't think in the next year or two, um, but we're working to that. And that's kind of like, like, again, like if I can think of, or if I, if I can figure out, you know, the game plan, right? And I can, I can eventually help 10,000 people leave their nine to five job, but I got to look at the main goal and then figure out how I can help them get there. So that's the main goal mm. for me, man, for the next. Yep. Kudos to you, man. Really love it. I'm excited yeah. for this. I'm looking forward. I'm just hoping so many more people will be joining your journey and, you know, get themselves successful. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, I can just see the impact. If 10,000 people are quitting their job, indirectly 50,000 people are making a passive income, you know, learning from you on how to kickstart their affiliate journey. That was pretty impactful. Let's get yeah. to the next question. I mean, as entrepreneurs, we never consider the mistakes as mistakes because it's always a learning curve and you're moving forward, right? But if you just look back and say, oh, I could have done something better in that situation, what do you think like is the biggest mistake in your life so far in terms of business mainly? Um, yeah, I think the biggest mistake is, is not focusing. Cause, uh, mm. you know, like I think a lot of people get sidetracked in this. I see this with my students all the time. They'll start a, you know, maybe affiliate business, you know, a couple of weeks later, a month later, they're already doing something else. And, you know, I've been guilty of this myself. Obviously I've done a lot of side hustles, Um, But I I learned very quickly that if you're not focused on something and you're not consistent with it, you're not going to see success. So um, focus is so huge, right? Like if you if you can focus on one thing and get really good at that thing, you're going to see the results that you want. Um, The only reason you're going to fail at this business model is you're not focused. Like that's literally it, because um, even traffic, right? Maybe you're focused on. Uh, YouTube and then you're focused on on blogging and then you're focused on on something else right like get really good at one thing focus yourself on one thing and then move on to the next thing right so um, that's something that's really important right not only with you know with a business model but with every aspects of the business right get good at that one thing and then you'll start seeing results and I did this uh, I, I did this a lot in my affiliate journey as well I was trying to do a bunch of things and I was like, you need to focus on, on one thing. And then finally I switched my mindset. I'm like, okay, I'm going to focus on YouTube, get really, really, really good at YouTube. And then I'll start looking at these other, you know, traffic sources, you know? So yeah. that, that's the, that's the game changer for, for me. That was one of the biggest mistakes is not focusing on one thing. True. Yeah. That was spot on brother. Appreciate you mentioning that. I believe like for every beginner who started to see a dollar, that's when they were like, hey, I figured this out. Let me do something yeah. else. Exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly, and that's yeah. the biggest mistake ever, period. Right. <laughs> you yeah, just need to be focused. The breakthrough is in the focus. <laughs> yeah. Focus is so huge, man, because people get sidetracked. They get the shiny object syndrome and they see the next opportunity and, you know, they, they move on. Right. So it's really yeah. important that you understand uh, or that you stay focused with that. Absolutely. Let's get to the next question. I mean, as entrepreneurs, right, we are, we are driven, like we're driven with something, right? So w- like what actually motivates you, what inspires you and who are the people who helped you throughout this journey? Yeah, great question. So it's kind of funny. So the main thing that still drives me is, is, uh, well, when I first started, it was trying to leave my job. Like I, I, I really was sick and tired of working it. Like I just, I didn't want to be there. So <laughs> my main thing at the time was like, um, okay, how can I get out of this job? Right. And then now, yes, I want to get to a certain mark, but 
one of the main things that like I never want to do again is work a nine to five job. So like I have a ton of momentum from leaving my job and I don't want to lose that. Right. Cause I don't want to go back to working a nine to five. So one of the main things that drives me is that is literally thinking that if I were to kind of let up, take the, take my uh, foot off the gas, you know, then I'm going to have to go back to the nine to five. If you know, something crazy happened, I know that'll never happen, but that in mm-hmm. my mindset, I'm always thinking like, okay, I got to stay ahead of the curve. I got to be able to, um, I got to be able to continue that momentum. So I, I never, ever have to even think about going back. So as far as the key person, uh, key people have helped me um, early in my journey, I, I've worked with Joshua Elder, uh, Onyx Singal. Um, these are some of the people I've worked with. Um, legendary marketer, uh, David Sharp. I worked with some of these um, some of these mentors. Uh, Josue Pena was someone that helped me with DM closing. Um, one mm-hmm. thing I did do early in my journey is I, I would hire mentors and coaches and I would buy several courses, right. To, to help me get to where I wanted to be. So those are some of the names of the people that, that helped me get to where I wanted to be. Um, I mean, there's, there's been so many people that have helped me and, you know, some, some have made a huge difference. Some have made a little difference, but everything has helped me get to where I need to be. Mm-hmm, absolutely brother appreciate you mentioning that so that was pretty insane jonathan appreciate you really walking us through your journey yeah. of actually being an engineer being stuck in a job to actually making through your life and being a successful affiliate marketer and really having the vision to change over ten thousand people's life by helping them quit their jobs by perceiving affiliate marketing really love that so if yeah. somebody who actually watches this podcast wants to learn more or get started to work with you where they can actually find your help yeah man so um you know, I have several things that people can get started with. As I mentioned, uh, I have a three-day challenge that basically helps people get started. The foundationals, I, I I give them all my funnels and resources to get started. So that one is www.jonathanmontoyalive.com slash three-day. I could probably send you that link if you want, but that that's the place I would recommend to get started. Um, and then honestly, just just my, my socials, uh, my YouTube channel is Passive Income Lifestyles. Um, let's see, I have my Instagram, Jonathan underscore Montoya 24. Um, and I'm pretty active and, and pretty, uh, and almost all of the socials, Facebook, Jonathan Montoya. So yeah, man, they could reach out. Uh, YouTube is where, uh, where you can find me and, and get a ton of free content. I have almost a thousand videos on there. So, um, wow. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's crazy, man. So I would do a video almost every single day when I was starting my affiliate journey and working a nine to five job. So um yeah so right now we have almost a thousand videos on there so yeah that's awesome so guys you'll have all the links jonathan just gave you in the description so make sure to check that out so if if you need more help in kickstarting your affiliate marketing journey jonathan is the best guy so you can probably consider joining his programs and basic training so you can get some free value out of that so yeah that was beautiful jonathan any last word before we conclude the podcast for today um yeah man i mean if if you if you guys are out there and you're you're wanting to quit your nine to five job um, or you just want to start affiliate marketing to make extra money, pay off debt, the biggest thing you got to fix, you got to realize is um, don't just do it to make commission, right? Like don't, don't just find random products and, and, and try to promote those things. Like try to find something that you truly believe in and think about the customer you're helping and how can you help them get what they want, right? that that's the game changer. If you want to be successful in this game, you know, I see a lot of people that just promote random products and maybe they see some commission success, but at the end of the day, they're not building that long-term business and brand. So look at the long term, and that's going to be, that's going to be the game changer for you because now you're focusing on people's results instead of focusing on your income. Now, if you focus on people's results, your income will naturally go up. Okay. So if you can do that, you'll be successful with this. So yeah, man. Absolutely, Jonathan. Once again, thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. It was definitely a pleasure having you on our podcast. We definitely got a tons of value. So everybody don't let this podcast be another information overwhelming, rather take notes from this and watch Jonathan's YouTube channel and get started in your journey in your own affiliate marketing journey and, you know, try to, you know, break through your own, uh, you know, journey and you know, get some success. So stay tuned guys. I'll be back with another amazing two comma club winner, just like Jonathan till that day. This is me, the Nikhil Sai and Jonathan Montoya signing off for today. Peace. Thank Bye-bye. you so much. Have a good one. I appreciate you.